Hey everybody, this is Grasshopper James, and today I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the Osaka offices. Ah, shit, Osaka! Nani uta ni? Sumimasen. What the f? Hey everyone, this is Grasshopper James, and today I'm going to take you on a little tour of the Grasshopper manufacturer offices here in Tokyo. First off, We've got the lobby. As you can see here, we've got the company logo, a uh, little bat phone to get the receptionist to let you in. She probably won't. We've also got some pretty swanky looking curtains and a super comfy looking chair. Uh, looks antique, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it is. Let's test it out actually. Yep. It's a regular ass chair. All right, uh, let's see what we've got inside now. So here we've got the uh, guest reception area. We've got some bitchin' kind of retro space age looking chairs here. They look almost as comfy as the swanky velvet one outside. Also up here on the wall, these are actually three different parts of a grasshopper. Here we've got the grasshopper's eyes ears and this one is the grasshopper's brain and on this side here we've got the guest meeting room uh, as you can see on the glass here we've got a bunch of the different logos titles most of the grasshopper manufacturer games from the past 25 years all right so over here we've got uh, again the guest meeting room uh, this room is named Minami Asagaya which is a part of Tokyo Actually, each and every one of the different meeting rooms we have here in the offices have their own individual name, and each one is named after uh, a part of Tokyo in which Grasshopper Manufacturer previously had their headquarters. Let's check out what we've got in here. Over here, uh, we've got some more badass art on the walls. We've got, uh, obviously, Travis Touchdown on this wall here. And on the opposite wall, uh, we've got some Killer7 art. One of the fun things about working here at Grasshopper is Suda tends to bring a lot of his toys into work and leave them in some kind of random places sometimes. Basically, everything you've seen up to now is, uh, again, the guest area. So uh, this is what visitors get to see. Uh, everything that we're going to see from now on, uh, this is where the more confidential stuff goes on and normally trying to get through this door will probably get you a headshot. But uh, I'm gonna give you a special little tour just because I can. All right, so this is the uh, staff only area. This is basically where all the magic happens. One of the first things you're gonna notice when you walk in here is the big ass Batman mural we've got on the opposite wall here. It's certainly quite a piece of art and I like to stare at it for at least two or three hours every time I come into the office. And the next thing we've got is uh, a handful of posters from uh, some of the titles that Grasshopper has worked on, uh, again, over the past quarter century. And then on this side of the wall, uh, on the glass, you can see three of our sort of mini mascots. Uh, this is Gura and Sue and Hopper. Again, this is one of the staff-only meeting rooms, so normal visitors uh, don't really get to see this part of the, the office. This one uh, is also named after a former Grasshopper Manufacturer headquarters location, Shinko Enzi. So let's see what's inside. Uh, one of the first things you're gonna notice walking into the room is a couple of frogs, together with this dude here on the far wall. Uh, this is Shin Hopperman, who is uh, one of our original characters and one of the more main Grasshopper Manufacturer mascots. And over here, uh, again, uh, I don't want to spoil things for you guys too much, but we've basically got our entire next game plotted right there on the wall. So it is what it is. Next up, we've got another meeting room. This is the Jimbo Chow room. Uh, let's see what we've got in here. Uh, for the Jimbo Chow meeting room, we've got this uh, mural of uh, the silver case. 
And apparently the featured toy here in Jinbocho is Ultraman, another one of Suda's favorite characters. Personally, this one here, the silver case one, uh, I like this one the best, uh, mainly because the silver case was the first grasshopper title that I ever worked on myself. And I got a lot of good memories of that game and working on it in particular. Next up over here, uh, we've got a sort of free space that uh, everyone can come and just sort of chill in, uh, eat lunch in, play games, uh, test games, uh, all kinds of stuff is possible here. And on this side over here, uh, we've got a little, I guess you could call it a play area. Um, here we've got uh, just a bunch of stuff that Suda has picked up over the years. Uh, as you can see, Ultraman, pro wrestling, uh, a wide variety of video games. Batman here. Just some, uh, some really cool stuff that's just kind of lying around that I'm pretty sure we'd get fired for touching. And here we've got uh, a sign that came from our previous office. Uh, I have no idea if we were actually permitted to remove this and bring it here, but we did, so what are you going to do? And right next to it is one of the main pieces of the collection. Uh, this is Travis rocking the hell out on his bitchin' motorcycle, the name of which I can never remember nor pronounce correctly. And it's kind of hard to tell with the current lighting and everything, but you can see there's four corners forming a rectangle here on the wall. This is actually used for a projector space. And right over here, you've got a sort of viewing area. We can put up, you know, game footage, movies of the week, whatever, and watch them here on the wall, turn down the lights. As you may have noticed, uh, we've got a lot of random stuff on the walls uh, in different places. For example, right over here, uh, we've got a couple, uh, we've got a nice selection of weapons from Shadows of the Dam. Uh, we've also got a few more weapons right over here. The Beam Katana from the No More Hero series. And as we go around the office, uh, you'll probably notice that we've got lots of stuff like this all over the place. Various characters, weapons, vehicles. That's just kind of the Yabukiri Studio style, I guess. This here, this is a character named Sumio Mondo from uh, an older grasshopper game called Flower, Sun and Rain. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say about that for now. Over here, uh, we've got the motorcycle from Shadows of the Damned. Uh, one thing that's kind of cool about the uh, Shadows of the Damned bike mural here is it's actually uh, drawn and painted to full size. So if you were actually to go out and uh, make a replica of the bike, that's what it would look like. This is pretty much the main feature out of all the Yabukiri Studio uh, wall murals. This is basically a huge mashup of all the stuff that Suda51 uh, has been interested in, uh, the people he respects. Basically, it's the stuff that he thinks is really cool. Um, we've got uh, a tiger. We've got the baseball player Sadaharu O. Oh. Grasshopper, swords, violence, action. I mean, this mural pretty much has it all. You know, a lot of people tend to ask Suda, you know, what's, what's the process like inside your brain when you're coming up with ideas for a game? It was, what does it look like inside your mind? Well, this is pretty much it right here. So that was most of Yabukiri Studio. Uh, if you've ever wondered what kind of environment uh, Suda 51's crazy ass games get made in, uh, this is where it's at. We can't really show you much of what's going on in the actual dev room itself, but we will be showing you bits and pieces here and there from now on, so be sure to check the Grasshopper archives for more very special episodes of the dev room.